Hello friends, it's me, Justin Brock. I'm here on behalf of Brock and Credible Insurance to give you an update for, of things to come um, as we enter the fall and get close to the closing on our new year. So um, we want to remind you that the Medicare annual enrollment period is between October 15th and December 7th. This is the time that you can make changes uh, to your Medicare Part D prescription plan or change to a Medicare Advantage plan or back to Original Medicare. Please keep in mind that you must stay on Original Medicare to qualify for a Medigap supplemental coverage. 2018 Part D prescription plans. Your drug plan company will send you a letter informing you of any changes in your plan for 2018. If you are satisfied with your current drug plan, after you have reviewed the changes in the letter and your prescriptions have not changed uh, during the year, you should stay with the plan that you have. If you need help deciding what to do, we are here to help. Just call us, um, or if you're watching this on Facebook, you can click Get Quote below, and we'll be able to help you out. Medicare Advantage plans. The benefits of Medicare Advantage plans are different from Original Medicare and they are not the same as Medicare supplements. If you have heard of Medicare Advantage and you would like to learn more about it, please call us. We can give you a fair comparison and enroll you in the plan of your choice. Medicare supplement plans or Medigap plans um, as they started to become known as. Uh, it's just a fact of life that insurance premiums do increase. But if you feel your premium increases have been more than it should be, please give us a call. We will be happy to check to see if you are eligible for a lower premium. Um, consider going with a plan G over a plan F. Uh, the, the, uh, the premiums are much lower on a plan G and there's very little difference in the coverage. Again, you can click below, get quote if you're on Facebook, or call us and we will be able to help you decide if that plan is right for you or if you could even get the plan F at a lower rate. Either way, um, we wanna help you find the best deal on your Medicare supplement coverage. New Medicare cards. So this is causing a lot of buzz right now because people are hearing about it. And we all know that identity theft has been a major problem in our country. Um, and the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services has decided to replace Medicare numbers with ones that do not contain your Social Security number. And this is really good news um, you know, for, for our Medicare beneficiaries. The new cards must be issued by April 2019, and uh, they're gonna be rolling them out starting April of 2018. So they're, they're giving themselves about a year to get them out so that they won't all come in one big wave. But there will be a 21 month transition period after you receive your new card that you'll be able to use your old card still. So that's good news as well. It just uh, gives you a little bit of flexibility to get used to that. Social Security cost of living increase for 2018. So right now, the Social Security cost of living adjustment for 2018 is expected to be 2.2%. But for those who were exempt from paying the increase in the Part B premium last year due to the hold harmless clause, <laughs> Uh, some of the increase in their Social Security payment may go to pay the increase in the Part B premium. Currently, the Part B premium or the Part B Medicare premium for folks aging into Medicare is $134. But that may vary based on a person's income. As the income goes up uh, in certain categories, the premium can go up. Medicare Part B costs for 2018. According to the 2017 report from the Medicare Board of Trustees, the Medicare Part B premium and deductible is projected to remain stable for 2018 and 2019. That means $134 for the Part B premium and $183 for the Part B deductible. The official announcement though will come later this year. That's just the uh, outlook from the Medicare Board of Trustees right now. So, um, last thing I want to mention is uh, dental, vision, and hearing coverage. There are three areas that Medicare uh, doesn't cover, three additional areas we're not, we haven't talked about. And that's routine dental, routine vision, and hearing expenses. So, everyone in our office actually carries some extra coverage for this sort of thing. And most of our clients are starting to as well. So, 
If you'd like a quote on that, again, you can click get quote below or you can give us a call and we can help you out with that. Um, these policies are guaranteed issue, so you can actually get them even if you already have some existing conditions. Um, I want to, you know, just last close on something. Medigap policies or Medicare supplement policies continue to rise, but that doesn't mean you have to ride that out or cancel it. A lot of people think it's, you know, make or break. They have to just ride out those increases or cancel it. Many times, uh, even with certain health conditions, you can change to a lower premium. Um, some people, uh, what's what a high premium is to one person might be much, um, much lower than to another person or vice versa. So, you know, we have some people that come in that are paying two and three times as much as others, you know, that we are able to help save, you know, $100 a month. And I don't want to give anyone an unrealistic expectation because it always depends on the circumstance. But you should always try to make sure you have the best deal on your Medicare supplement or Medigap policy. Um, and you can change those policies any time during the year. So if you'd like some more information on that, again, click Get Quote if you're on Facebook or give us a call and uh, we'd be happy to help you. So from, from us here at Rock and Cradle Insurance, we really appreciate you uh, tuning in and please let us know if there's anything we can do to help you at all.